So you're browsing YouTube for videos about the Mutable Instruments Shruti One synthesizer. You've seen lots of demos showing you different presets, but you haven't found much information of the features of the synthesizer. So I'm gonna be showing you that in this video. <laughs> So the Mutable Instruments Shruti 1 is a hybrid analog digital mono synth. Mono synth being can only play one note at a time, it does not play chords. Uh, Mutable Instruments is a boutique synthesizer company. Uh, they make specialized DIY kits and they've recently branched out into uh, modular instruments. Uh, the DIY kits include the Ambika and the Anushri. The Ambika does do chords, it is a polysynth, so you can play uh, many notes at a time, play a chord and lead at the same time. The Shruti one is just uh, for leads, for you want fat bass lines uh, or, or screaming leads, the uh, Shruti one uh, is fantastic at that. So the benefits of a hardware synth is that it, it is a dedicated unit uh, for music, whereas a soft synth, uh, you never know what's going to happen when you update your operating system or your hardware or your DAW. For example, uh, Logic Pro X, they recently moved from 32-bit architecture to 64-bit. Uh, when they made that move, all of your 32-bit plugins no longer work. Uh, whereas a hardware synth, you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, that's one of the, um, the beauties of a hardware synth. And also, uh, hardware synths really require you to get down and dirty uh, in the uh, principles of synthesis to create your own tones and sounds. So Mutable Instruments is a boutique synthesizer company by a man named Oliver from Paris. Uh, he's had quite some success with the uh, DIY kits, so I'm sorry that now he's branched off into uh, modular instruments or modular uh, synthesizers. So the kits themselves uh, um, you will no longer be able to get them from him, from his website. There are a few websites out there online uh, that, that do sell them. And you can find ready-made on eBay. And the price can vary from $500 to $1,000. So if you can get one yourself, uh, this only cost me about a, a couple, I think it was 250 Australian dollars. If you can get one yourself uh, and, and sold it yourself, you can have uh, a lot of bang for your buck. Now, soldering it together, is it easy? Uh, I had zero experience with soldering and zero experience in electrical engineering uh, before I started this, and I, it was a success for me. Uh, some people say they can do it in a couple of hours, they can, they can put it all together. For me, it did take a couple of weeks, uh, an hour, maybe a couple of days or so. Uh, it wasn't easy, uh, but it is possible. And, one of the benefits of doing it is that you end up with this fantastic skill uh, of being able to do these things. Uh, I did have a problem, or I do have a problem now with my screen, uh, which you will see in the video. Uh, it doesn't light up as it used to. Uh, if you take a look at this clip, this is when I first uh, put it all together. The screen was working just fine. Now, unfortunately, it's not. Uh, is that a problem? Well, I, I, I don't really need the screen that much. I can kind of see what's going on. I do have the skills now to be able to actually fix it. Um, but the thing is, the question is, is it my fault or is it uh, Mutable Instruments fault? No, it's, it's, it's my fault. Um, so as much as it is a, a hybrid synth with a digital control board, uh, the sound that's coming from it is all analog. It has a pure analog filter board, uh, although the digital control board does spit out um, digital waveforms. Uh, but apart from that, the sound is uh, definitely has that old, uh, unpredictable analog sound. And that's really fantastic to um, change sounds and tweak sounds and really get something very unique that no one else has. So, what you're going to need is one of these uh, 9 volt power supply. This doesn't come with the Shruti, so you're going to get that yourself. Plug that in. Now we can test out if all the soldering worked uh, by just pressing the demo function. Yes, hold that down. You're going to get a note. You can change what that note is. Yeah. Now you can go into your filter selection. You can control different parts of the filter. Uh, next step, we're going to control the synthesizer with the MIDI keyboard, the MIDI controller which is what you'll be doing 90% of the time. Uh, you're gonna get a MIDI cable, plug that into your MIDI controller, and obviously just plug this into the MIDI in.
So next up is the arpeggiator. Select between the filter board and the sequencer with this button here. Uh, and then you have your different modes that you can choose between sequencer, step sequencer, and the uh, arpeggiator. Uh, then just play a chord. So up next, I'm going to show you how to save your favorite uh, patch that you've made. So browse to the end of the available presets um, and just hold the, this button down to advance by 10. That can, that's a nice trick. So go to a empty slot that's available and uh, create something interesting. So Got some sort of laser sound there. I'm not sure when I would use that. Anyway, go back to your uh, your your filter button, and now we're just gonna save that. So press it once, press it again, and then you can just um, move around. Oops. Press it once, press it again. Name it to whatever you want. Done. Now I have saved that patch. Uh, the the Shruti one is a mono synth. They can only play one note at a time, but you can split um, a note to each oscillator. And I'll show you how you do that. So you can can actually play two notes. So um, you need to press this until you get into the third menu, the third page of this menu, uh, and you get operator. And from operator, you select duo so you have a few different choice there bits and fold right now press two notes So next we're going to filter some audio through the Shruti. So I've got some audio cables here, plugging it in to where it clearly says in. And I've got a drum machine app on here. Plug it in. Now we're going to select a patch on here, which is a patch that mutable instruments have saved, especially for filtering audio. We got a few of them here. You can also filter your sounds using the regular patches uh, they come with the shruti. Just uh, hold a note down, put plug in the sound, hold a note down, and you're good to go. I'll be showing you how to control your Shruti one with your DAW. So I've got a MIDI in cable coming in here, uh, and that is connected to this. This is my audio interface, uh, and this has the MIDI cable going out. So that's connect that MIDI cable is connected to my Shruti one, uh, and the USB is connected to my MacBook, uh, and this is my audio input coming in from the Shruti one. So that's connected to my 
uh, DAW here. So now all I have to do, just press create a new track and select external MIDI. My input is coming in from the input too, so I've selected that. Now, I have my keyboard plugged in via USB and that USB is going into uh, Logic Pro. Are you confused yet? Maybe you should be. Now we're playing the Shruti One. Benefit of this, obviously, is that I can record. Whatever changes I do to these MIDI notes is going to affect the sound that's coming out the Shruti. So that means I really have complete control over the sound that's coming out. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Uh, my name is. My name is Harry, this has been the year 2000 Productions, though I might change that name to a Super Ninja Power Fighter or Elephant vs. Turtle. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, please subscribe. Just remember, stay in school and say no to drugs. Cheers.